So, hopefully this is enough light, I'm not sure. Uh, we got a special guest star today. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we got Charles. Charles came, he's doing a, a coast to coast tour. Uh, came from Montreal. And he's gonna be off to Vancouver tonight. Uh, so he's just stopping by. Gonna stay the night and just gonna do just a little a little tour around Airdre. Little un poquito un po as in there's not much to see in Airdre. So actually doing a midnight run. It's close to midnight, you know. So uh set the R1 up for a midnight run and been a long time time since I did one. Like I say, it's gonna be a short video. Airdre ain't that big. So, let's go have some fun in Airdre. Okay, so you've just ridden this 6,500 6, miles, kilometers. Okay, 6609.5. So, on that long duration, you found no problem with that. You liked it, comfortable the whole bit. Absolutely, except for the butt cheeks a little while, uh, they get sore. <laughs> Any bike will do that. <laughs> I'm not joking. You can't get away from that. Uh, so yeah, uh, this is pretty cool. Come on. Let's go have some fun in air drift. Sure. So now, We got Charles with us tonight, and I think that's pretty damn cool. He's done such a long ride, and I know what that's like. Uh, ooh, fogging up real quick. Fogging up real quick. So, what I'm going to be doing is we'll just take Charles for a little ride around Airdre. And the only thing I can really think is I've been thinking about what to do for a video in Airdre. I've already done one here. So, the only video I can really think of is the four corners, the four corners of Airdrie. Uh, as in, it's not a big place. So right now in Airdrie, we're going down Main Street. Our, okay, hey, debate. I got a debate for you guys. Airdrie or Airdrie? Airdrie or Airdrie? Uh, I've been told I'm pronouncing Airdrie wrong. I think so. What is the proper pronunciation of Airdre? Uh, we got Charles behind us. Uh, so now we're going down Main Street. I know I've been down here before. Uh, we're coming to the first corner. And this would be Main Street and Yankee Boulevard, Yank Yankee Valley Boulevard. So, this is corner number one. <laughs> so, we're at the first corner and in Canada, you're gonna find a lot of Tim Hortons. Corner one, there is a Tim Hortons. And you actually gotta watch that one. Uh, this parking lot. Uh, this parking lot, along in here, RCs will sometimes park after going to a Tim Hortons. So you gotta be careful with this one. Now, 
what Charles doesn't realize, he's got a surprise coming his way. We drive six, six, six hundred, six thousand six hundred kilometers. Uh, if you make a visit to me, I'm going to give you a little bit of a surprise. So, we're not quite at the second corner, we're going to make a little stop. And, okay, we're close to the second corner. Not this light, the next light down. But, you'll notice, we got a Timmy's on the run. Yes, once again in Canada, Tim Hortons. You're going to find him anywhere. But anyways, uh, time to surprise Charles. Stop. Get on her. Treat her gently. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah, it is small, eh? It is small. Uh, I was buzzing around on one of these about three weeks ago. Okay, right. now, slam it in gear and get used to that clutch before you start driving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kickstand up too. Okay, yep. that's what I want you to do. Get used to that clutch. Yeah, I'm trying to figure it out. It's a lot more aggressive than these. Keep going. Don't worry. Okay. So here we come. Uh, I don't have a rider cam right now. I got to remember that. Second corner. <laughs> okay, so we're currently at the second corner. <laughs> okay, and we're driving this thing very gently. So now, uh, I don't even, I got no camera. And he's being very gentle with the R1. Cool, being followed by my own bike. Uh, but I'm talking, I'm talking to a camera I don't have. So let's do some funny arm wave movements. I'm just being I'm just being silly. I'm talking to a camera I don't have. <laughs> so I gotta get used to this over there. <laughs> <laughs> Just pissing around. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, this position itself is really, really more aggressive than, than, what, than what I'm used to. Big time. Yeah. Big time. Now, don't be afraid to give the throttle a little wrap. Yeah. Third already. Okay, he's having a little bit of a hard time getting used to that clutch. 
Uh, I've noticed these ninjas. Uh, they're always at the end. Such a little, little clutch. This thing just feels different. So now, we're on the straightaway. We're coming up to the third corner. And we're good. Uh, I should have told the mirror position. Uh, there we go. We got them in our mirror. Perfect. So, uh, we already passed one RC, so there's a couple, a couple RCs buzzing around right now. And uh, we're cruising six grand, seems to be holding nice. I think we're in fourth. We're just going to speed, a speed where uh, <laughs> this is going to be weird. I'm going to have to use the camera off my bike because this may be too dark at a helmet camera. So you're probably looking at my back right now on a Ninja, on a Ninja 300. And, oh hey, I forgot. We got that camera there. Cool. Uh, <laughs> okay, is this? Okay. I forgot! You got your camera there! <laughs> I can't believe you went down to California on this. Why is that? Oh, this, this one will kill me. Squeeze with your legs! No, I mean the main dump Okay, now, if you can, take this arm, grab back here. Do it. Are you in neutral? Okay, don't worry about going any. Put it in neutral. Okay, now, can you do this? Back here, right there. You're not big enough. When, when I'm in that position, I'm neutral. And I'm sitting like this. So it's very comfortable for me and I don't have to worry about it. You though, it stretches you forward a bit. I'll show you what I mean. We'll stop and switch before we get to my place. I'll show ya. Oh, cool. <laughs> I'm gonna need a copy of this one too. We were talking so long at the light, we actually got a red light. But, are you enjoying it? Yeah. Give it a wrap. <laughs> I'm trying to be gentle. I know, but just... I'm getting used to push. I know, but once you're in there and you're moving, you're feeling comfortable, suck up close to the tank, keep your weight forward, just give it a little throttle. Don't go deep all the way, just a little. Feel it. Feel what it is difference to this. So, that was the third corner of Airdrae. Get Although the red doesn't quite fit the green. <laughs> that it doesn't. <laughs> Black. It's neutral. Goes with anything. <laughs> 
So, uh, I'm just making a comment that uh, his color scheme doesn't quite go with my bike, but I think that's pretty cool. And uh, I'll bug him later. Uh, once we're ba back at my place, I'm going to bug you a little bit, Charles. Okay, so now, uh, I should not speed tonight. So we're just coming over an overpass and we're actually passing over the QE2, Highway 2. This is Highway 2. And keep her slow, we can catch a green. Come on, go green. Oh, that must be a turn light. It was very cool seeing him wrap that throttle just a little bit. And, uh, uh, Ninja 300s, they're just different. It is a great learner's bike, I will say that. Uh, the power, kind of a little restricted. Okay, so now, this is corner four. And we, we are on back on Main Street. <laughs> uh, I think Charles is liking the, the power on the R1. And uh, too cool. Very, very cool. So I'm not sure how good his camera is going to pick me up at night. I got no lights currently on myself and I'm totally in black. So it just may be a black ghost talking to you. So, uh, that was the fourth corner of Airdrie. Uh, we're actually buzzing down Main Street right now. Uh, just have to, uh, just have to watch out for the cops. Uh, they're quite sticky with speed limits here. And if they got a reason to pull you over here, they will. And I don't know how well. I'm going to get a bit of wind noise here. Uh, probably a bit of wind noise on that one. And we'll extend Charles's ride just a little bit. This road actually, it's wavy, but it kind of sucks. As in bumpy, they really need to pave it. I know I've said that a few times. Slow it down. Slow it down just a little. Just a little. In poquito. And I do believe we're going to run into an RC coming back down to uh, Yankee. So yeah, Charles, hey, that was pretty cool. Uh, I really hope you're, oh yeah, Charles is doing a, a coast to coast and back. So 
So he's come down from Montreal. And he's come down from Montreal. Tomorrow he's going to be heading out to Tomorrow he's going to be uh, heading out to Vancouver, uh, Banff, Jasper, and... I totally like the R1 more than the ZX6R that I tried. Say that again? I prefer the R1 to the ZX6R that I tried. Cool. <laughs> it's a lot less, uh, it, it, it doesn't want to kill you as much as the, uh, as the uh, 636 ones. Okay, no, understand that, understand that. Uh, I'll bug you in a second, trust me. <laughs> uh, so. Uh, I'm just... Just kind of extending the ride a little bit. Uh, letting Charles have some fun on an R1. And, uh, I'm just wondering. Well, I'm gonna, uh, let's see. Ah, we'll go to the end. Do a little bit of pissing around. Uh, this basically goes nowhere, a dead end. But the good thing is, is no vehicles come down here. And, uh, uh, a possibility of having just a little bit of fun. So, I came down here so we wouldn't get bugged by cars. So, what'd you think? Uh, <laughs> not as bad as I think it would be. Yeah? Uh, the ZX6R, when I tried it, I mean, it just wants to pop off. Yeah? Uh, the, the feeling I had on the R1 is just a little more linear. It's, it's the... Yeah? It's, it's more friendly than the, the, the 636 was to me. Yeah, now... It not be the opinion of everyone, but that's just me. Now, the question is, how high RPMs did you take this? Honestly, I didn't check. Okay, I'm guessing probably around maybe 8? Uh, in first and second gear. Yeah, you're just hitting the power band. Yeah. So once you get it above there, that's Maybe. when she fucking kicks in. <laughs> I bet you. So it takes... Uh, I'm fogging up. I noticed. Breathing heavy, are you? <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed. I did. Thank you. Not a problem. Not a problem. Okay, so... Uh, we're just going to buzz back. And uh, I'm going to call it a night here soon. I think... It was pretty cool stopping by. Well, you just you just me. drove across Canada. You got a surprise. Well, thank you. Not a problem. Okay, man, let's go have a coffee and cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> <Where's the water? laughs> Feels different, doesn't it? <laughs> Oh god, I love that. It's cool putting putting somebody on a nice bike. That is still a nice bike, just a totally different <laughs> class of bike.
two years now. <laughs> uh, so yeah, no, just to finish the story, Charles, he's come across from Montreal, and once he actually gets over to Vancouver, he's going to head back across Canada. So that's gonna, I'm guessing he's going to be looking at 15,000 kilometers on this trip. So I think that's pretty damn cool. And, uh, I actually, I haven't done the Cross Canada one yet myself. I want to. I actually want to get to Montreal one day myself. I was born there. And I'd like to see it. So, Your bike feel funny? What? Does your bike feel funny now? Yeah, well, I'm used to have the saddle bags and everything. It's, it feels really, really light compared to the... Uh, oh, okay, understand, understand. I you forgot the cap on your camera. No fucking way. Yeah, you did. Okay, uh... Fuck. Uh... I knew I was forgetting something. Damn. This is going to be a weird video. <laughs> this is going to be a really weird video. So yeah, a lot of voice, and uh, I guess there's going to be a, a lot of backside of me, a lot of different camera angles to make this work. So. Uh, I hope I can make this video work. I'll figure something out. And I'll have, I'll have five, five other cameras to play with. Uh, getting a little bit of wind noise. So, just calling in tonight. Uh, I gotta shut down to uh, do some file transfers and uh, sort of prep my cameras. Possibility I'm on an oil field riders ride tomorrow. Uh, do you guys have yourself a good night? Charles? Hope you enjoyed the bike. Hope you had fun on the R1. Just makes it easier getting it out in the morning. I see ya. And for the people who always want to see King more than me. Special guest star, hey! 
It's the king! Yeah! Yeah! Uh, so, uh, I'm not sure how this video is going to work out. I got to figure out how the hell I'm going to do it since I had my lens cap on. <laughs> I knew I was forgetting something. And uh, you guys take care. Have a good night. I don't know if I'll call this a midnight run or the four corners of Airdrie.